Hey guys, welcome back to the Z Code System YouTube channel. Great to have you back here for our latest video. And today we're going to talk about the NHL playoffs, which are coming up, I guess, in about two weeks. Uh, the idea is that they're going to drop the puck May 19 for the NHL playoffs. Now, of course, we've got a few postponed games due to COVID-19 that are going to have to be played before then. And of course, we could still have a few games postponed and the playoffs delayed by a little bit. But we'll get into, we'll get into that um, in just a few minutes uh, and talk more about that. But it's great to have you back here on our YouTube channel. If you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything we post on Z Code System. Uh, and, and you can get up to date on all of the picks that we have, whether it be NHL, NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, soccer from Europe. We've got everything that you could need for your picks here on the Z Code System channel. And of course, on, as you can see in front of you, the blog that we have there. So if you prefer to read rather than watch, well, you can go over there and check that out. But of course, we do put a lot of additional information up on the blog that we don't cover here on the videos and vice versa. So if you watch the videos, you get some great information that you wouldn't get from the blogs. And if you read the blogs, you get some great information you don't get right here from the video. So anyway, welcome back. And as you can see, we can uh, scroll through this and you've got some great picks coming up for this week, Sunday's NBA games, and of course the NHL playoffs blog that I have posted to go along with this video. So let's get into this. Let's talk about the NHL playoffs, which will drop the puck later this month. Okay, so there you have the NHL 2021 playoffs. I'm excited. We we were a little bit worried about this season not taking place. Uh, they've only played a 56-game season. It began in January. It's been a bit of a sprint. And you know what? I actually have loved um, this season for a multitude of reasons. One being that it was a shorter season. I very much like shorter sports seasons um, because it makes more games mean more. It, everything is more meaningful. And you know what? I love the fact that the teams have stayed within their regional divisions and those are the only teams that they've played. I think that has been a lot of fun and we've seen teams kind of move around and swap places. Uh, we've seen some teams do poorly at times and then all of a sudden, because they're just playing teams in their own division, they have been able to move into the playoff positions. So we're going to talk about this here because I think this is going to be a really exciting playoffs and we're going to see for the first time in a while a Canadian team make it into the semifinals of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs uh, as there are going to be um, at least one representative uh, for one representative from all four divisions uh, going into the NHL uh, Stanley Cup playoff semifinals. So let's take a look at this now. now. As you can see, when do they start? Well, the answer right now is May 19th. And I say maybe because we're not actually sure if it is actually going to be May 19th, because as I said before, there are some games that have been postponed throughout the season, and they are going to have to be played uh, before the playoffs begin. And these games are actually, uh, I believe, dead rubbers. Um, there's a game between the uh, Calgary Flames and the Vancouver Canucks that's going to be played. Uh, neither of those teams, I believe, at the moment are going to make the playoffs, um, but they've got to finish out these games to give that 56-game full season. And the thing is, like I said, we've had cancellations or not cancellations so much as postponements uh, of games. And the original season or the 56 game season was going to end around May 9. Uh, but because of these delays or these postponements, they've had to push um, things back a bit. And um, the idea was for the playoffs to begin around the 11th or the 15th of May. But again, like I say, May 19 is right now the date that they have targeted for the playoffs to begin. But again, that's not set in stone. And there's also some issues going on with the Canadian government and travel and this, that, this and that. So we're going to have to see how the NHL can cope with these things. Now, here are the teams that have clinched a playoff spot. Now, this is updated from when I posted the blog because a couple of teams, uh, three teams that is, have made the playoffs since then. We've got the uh, Vegas Golden Knights, uh, Colorado Avalanche, who are Sportsbook's favorites to win the Stanley Cup this season. And you know what? The Avalanche are playing some great hockey right now. Uh, Carolina Hurricanes, Florida Panthers, who are a surprise package this team. But again, this is a team that has benefited from having the uh, playing in their division the whole season long. Um, they haven't had to go on the road and make those long road trips across the U.S. and Canada. And they, they have played... Um, those teams that have just you know been able to beat up on each other. So this is one of those teams, in my opinion, that has really benefited from the way that the the season has taken shape and the way that the divisions uh, were. And again, I actually really have loved these teams all playing um, in their own area and, and against each other with those rivalries. 
and the fact that we're going to see something special when we get to the playoffs. Uh, teams that they haven't teams that haven't played each other yet this season. Um, then we've got the Minnesota Wild, Tampa Bay Lightning, the reigning Stanley Cup champions, Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Pittsburgh Penguins and Washington Capitals. Now, if you look at the Maple Leafs, they're the only team right now from Canada North Division to make the playoffs. But we're going to see some other teams make that. You know what I said earlier? Calgary um, not in the running for the the playoffs. I, I think that's a, a falsehood. Um, I believe they are actually in the running for the playoffs. Uh, going forward, um, and they have that game against the Canucks that they will have to play. So uh, we do have that. Of course, as you can see, I am uh, an Oilers supporter, and I'm rooting for the Oilers to uh, make, uh, well, not just make the playoffs, which they they look like they're going to do. They haven't clinched yet, but uh, to go on and win the Stanley Cup. Now, uh, back to uh, the Flames. The Flames are just outside the playoffs right now. Uh, the Canadians holding them off at the moment. Uh, 51 points for the Canadians, 47 for Calgary with just... Uh, I believe that is about ooh, seven games to play for Calgary, eight games to play for Montreal. Okay, let's carry on and let's say, or let's see who will win the Stanley Cup or let's answer that question. Well, we don't know at the moment, but we've got the odds from leading sports books. And I took these from my favorite sports book, Bet365. Now, of course, you can use your favorite sports book to get the latest odds on the Stanley Cup. They might differ a bit, but uh, probably not too much. As we see the Avalanche are plus 450 to lift the Stanley Cup. And then we've got the Golden Knights at plus 500. And as you can see, I've only given you a sort um a, a few uh, of the teams that could be making the playoffs who have clinched or who are nearly clinched. And I've gone down to Edmonton at plus 2000. Um, and you know what? I, I, I like that Islanders team. I think they've been playing really well this season. Um, and kind of like the Oilers, they're a throwback to those eighties and seventies teams, um, which I love um, uh, to watch. And, and, you know, for me, the, the heyday, uh, of ice hockey um, before all the movement down to the south of the U.S. But um, I digress. Uh, we've got some good uh, matchups that are going to be coming up in the playoffs. And we've got some great futures there uh, from leading sports books. And uh, you might want to get on one of those for the team that you think will win it. And we've got the Tampa Bay Lightning there at plus 700 to repeat as Stanley Cup champions. Now, repeating as Stanley Cup champions is very difficult. I've always thought that the Stanley Cup playoffs, uh, along with the NFL playoffs, are um, extremely difficult uh, especially in the modern era, um, especially in the modern era where we have the, st uh, the salary cap and we have um, the mechanisms in the league that we have uh, compared to the 80s when we had our last um, uh, our last dynasties, even though we could say that the, uh, the Red Wings were a dynasty in the late 90s or 2000s. Um, but it's very difficult to repeat as Stanley Cup champions. And, you know, I, I don't know if the Lightning can do it, but um, they are a, a good team there uh, in Tampa Bay. Now, how will the playoffs work? Let's just move this beautiful picture of me uh, over just a wee bit, and I'll blow it up for you. Um, but how will the playoffs work? So they're going to work a little bit differently this season. Now, last year we had, um, you know, obviously just like this season, we had COVID-19 kind of mess things up. And when we went to the playoffs and things were postponed, I guess, until August, July and August, we had the qualifying round uh, for teams to play, and then we went into the playoffs proper. Um, now we've got things a little bit different because they had to change around the season. They uh, cut down the travel and only uh, teams played inside their divisions. So we've got the NHL Stanley Cup post excuse me, the NHL Stanley Cup postseason um, featuring 16 teams this year. And of course, they're going to play a best of seven series each round. And uh, we're going to have a four round playoff format which will begin, of course, it says in May, which is very vague, uh, but that's the information that the NHL has given out still, as we aren't sure if it's going to start, in fact, on May 19th. Um, now, the top four teams from each division, as we know, will qualify for the playoffs. So we're going to have uh, four teams from each. So four Canadian teams making it, and then, uh, I guess, well, 12 U.S. teams making it into the playoffs. And the way that this is going to work, if you aren't familiar already, or if you're not sure, um, the teams are going to stay within their division to play in the playoffs. So we're going to see the team that finishes first. So for example, if we take the North Division uh, right now, it is the Maple Leafs, the Oilers in second place, the Winnipeg Jets in third, and the Montreal Canadiens in fourth. So if the season ended today, we would see the Maple Leafs as the first seed taking on the fourth seed, Canadiens, and then we would see the second seed, Oilers, taking on the third seed, Winnipeg Jets. So that's how the playoffs are going to unfold, and teams will stay within their divisions. 
Now, once you get past that first round, the second round is going to continue um, staying intradivisional, and you would see the winner of that one versus four take on that two versus three in the next round, in the second round. And then once we get past that, uh, we will have our semifinals, and that's where the teams will come together, and it will be uh, seated uh, depending on the regular season points total. So you'll see the number one team, the President's Trophy winner, taking on the number four seed in one of the series, and the number two seed team, uh, the team with the second best points total, taking on the number three seed. And then you know what? I said the, my mistake, just saying, I said the President's Trophy winner. Um, actually, we will not see them uh, necessarily being the number one seed because they have to get to this uh, round. They have to get to the third round, the semifinal round. So ignore what I just said, um, unless they actually do get there. Um, so that's how the playoffs are going to work until we whittle it down to the last two teams playing in the Stanley Cup finals. And then, of course, we'll whittle it down to that last team standing. Now, guys, thanks for watching our video today. I can't wait for the ice hockey NHL playoffs to start. Um, I've been watching some of the playoffs going on in uh, Sweden and some of the other leagues around Europe, uh, which have been fun. But you know what? I don't like the uh, the European leagues quite as much as the NHL. It's not as fast. It's not as hard hitting. Um, but again, I digress. Um, I'm looking forward to the NHL playoffs. And I'm sure you are too if you're watching this video. So go over to the blog, check up with us as we go through the NHL playoffs. Of course, we'll be posting here throughout the playoffs so you can stay up to date on everything that we post on Z Code System. So guys, good luck with your NHL betting and have a good weekend. And I'll see you soon here on Z Code System.